What's up guys, this is Charlie here from techinform.us. Happy 4th of July and today I'm going to be showing you how to make Mac OS X Snow Leopard look like Mac OS X Lion. Now this video really serves no purpose unless you want to know how to do this. Um, the reason somebody would not want to know how to do this is if you just want to play a little joke on your friends maybe and say look I have Lion because um, using this method it really does uh, make it look like you are actually running the operating system Mac OS X Lion. Now, this really, as I said, serves no purpose, so if you want to make it look cool, stick around, but if you don't, you know. So the first step to do um, to make this look like Mac OS X Line is to download a free app, any app at all, off of the Mac App Store. Basically, go to the Mac App Store, open it up, and go to the um, top free and download um, any of them right here. It doesn't really matter which one. So once you have that, um, just go ahead and open up your Finder window and drag it to your desktop, or it doesn't really matter. Next, open up your web browser, and you're going to need this application, Image to Icon. So you're going to need to type in IMG to ICN, Mac Download. There we go. And it's going to be this link right here. This will be in the description, by the way. Um, just go ahead and hit download. No viruses, I have it, obviously. Um, it is free. There is a paid version, but the free version does just fine what, for what we're going to be doing. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to go to apple.com, right here. And we're going to go up here to Mac. And this step is not mandatory. Um, if you really want to make it look very much so like Mac OS X Lion, um, this step's gonna help. So basically, go to apple.com slash Mac OS X. And we're gonna get, right now, this step, we're gonna get the dock layout. Now, if you don't have some of the applications, that's fine. But, um, get to stop on this one. We're gonna need to copy this dock layout right here. So, it's, we're gonna skip Launchpad right here, because that's what we're gonna be adding in the tutorial. If you don't have FaceTime, that's fine. If you don't have Keynote or Pages, that's also fine. Just go ahead and copy the rest. I'm actually going to leave the um, dividing um, icons past the divider alone because I don't feel like redragging my apps folder. So I'll be back to you guys when I have this all um, basically in order. Alright, so your dock should look pretty much like mine. Um, it doesn't matter um, that we don't have dashboard. Um, so it should pretty much look like this, um, other than the fact that um, I have ScreenFlow open. Now, if you don't have FaceTime um, or Keynote or Number, I mean Keynote or Pages, that's fine. That's fine. Um, it'll work without it. Now, the next thing we're going to do, when we have our um, free app on the desktop, I'm going to be using Line Smart. Um, we're going to go to our internet browser. We're going to go to Google. And we're going to type in launch pad icon. There we go. Now we're just going to go to images and we're going to scroll and scroll until we find one. So, as you see, I found this one similar, so we can have a little more um, variety of sizes. Then, here we go. I found this one right here. I'm just going to click it, go full size, and right hand click and save image to our desktop. Now once we've saved the image to our desktop, we're going to go ahead and go up, go ahead and open up image to icons, the app that we just downloaded right here. Uh, check automatically. Um so it's pretty straightforward. We're just going to hit um drop images here. So um whoops. We're going to take our image right here. We're going to drag it to the drop images here. And then it'll recognize the image, and then here we can choose our methods of output. We can export it as a folder, icon, favcon, or ICNS. So we want ICNS, and we're just going to choose our desktop. Okay, got that done. Now we're going to basically um, highlight our app. We're going to hit Command and I. It'll bring up this screen right here. Move this over. 
Now, um, what we're going to want to do, you're going to go down here, you're going to hit the lock, type in your password to authenticate it, and make sure every, um, basically every bar right here um, says read and write. If this doesn't work, I would go ahead and hit the plus right here, click your um, account, and make it so you have read and write privileges. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to um, take, you're going to, excuse me, we're going to get rid of line smart, not the dot app. We need it to say dot app. So we're going to make it L-A-U-N-C-H-P-A-D, launchpad. Then we're going to scroll up and we're going to move this aside, keeping it open at all times. And we're just going to double click on the um, icon ICNS file we just made. And we're going to, I'm just going to hit um, the second image. Then we're going to go up here, hold down the select, just hold on select, and then go down to Insta Alpha. Now, um, basically click and hold if you're used to this, basically select the entire icon. Right about there. And then hit Command C. This will copy it, so we're going to go back over to the Launchpad info. And we're going to click this little icon. It'll hide up highlight blue, and now we're going to hit Command V. This will change it to the Launchpad icon. And we're going to go back down here and authenticate it. I mean, de authenticate it, and hit X. And then we can X out of this. And we're going to move this app back to our Applications folder and we can quit this. The next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to download Mac OS X wallpaper. Pretty straightforward. Um, to do that we're going to go to Google and type in Mac OS Lion wallpaper. We're going to hit images and looks like we found this one. Full size image. Um, wait for it to load, and it's pretty straightforward. You're just going to um, um, you're just going to right hand click and save image wherever. So once you have the image saved, we can exit out of Safari and go to System Preferences, Desktop and Screensaver, and I have it saved under my Backgrounds um folder. So I'm just gonna find it right here. Okay, so we're almost done. All we now have to do is go to the Applications folder, find Launchpad that we just created, right here, and drag it right between Finder and the Applications folder, I mean the App Store. So, um, and we can delete these right here too. So, I might add, um, it is pretty important that you have watched the video before um, you've done this just to get a feel for what you're going to be doing. I'll put a big um, text block of saying that. Anyway, um, you once you change the icon, unless you actually make a copy of the original icon, you're not going to be able to get it back. That's so. That's why I said use a um, f basically a free app that you don't care about, um, unless you want to actually go to the app store and re-download the app so you can get the original icon back. Um, I'm just, I need to make that abundantly clear. So, from here, it really does look like I'm using Mac OS X Lion. I am registered as an Apple developer, um, but I'm not paying to have um, beta releases or developer copies yet. So, um, and I actually cannot wait until Lion comes out. I have all the money on my App Store um, account. Anyhow, um, I just think it's kind of cool. Um, I figured this out, figured this method and I say um a lot in my videos and I'm sorry. So thanks for watching. I hope this helped anybody who wanted to know how to do this. Make sure to check out the website that I write for at www.techinform.us. Follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash abnercus. Again, that's A-B-N-E-R-C-U-S. And make sure to subscribe for more tech-related content as well as some watch uh, reviews and things like that. If it interests you, click on my channel.